guys i have a problem i <laughs> i play the saxophone wrong if you don't know who I am, my name is Ariana. I am a Jamaican saxophonist. I reside in Connecticut, United States, and I'm a recent alumna from Berklee College of Music in Boston. I'm making this video for my friends and followers on Instagram and on YouTube, and I'm here today to explain my tone. Long story short, I get a lot of comments and compliments regarding my tone and the way that I sound on the saxophone, and I strongly believe that the reason for my tone sounding the way that it does is because of my embouchure and i'm gonna break down what all of that means if you're here and you're not a saxophonist um, or you don't know much about woodwind playing your embouchure means the way that your mouth is on the mouthpiece that's essentially what that word means and don't worry if it's confusing i'm gonna break it all down for you also to add i've been wanting to make this video for a really long time like for years now and i was just laying down on my bed five minutes ago and something told me like okay you need to record this video right now today like get up and turn on the camera and start recording so i'm here and i'm finally recording this video and i'm ready to explain this to you guys so if you're interested stay tuned let's get into this video so to start off, if you're not a saxophonist, I'm going to quickly just explain what the mouthpiece is because it doesn't hurt to learn and to know, you know? So this here is a saxophone mouthpiece and it has three important components to it. The first part is the mouthpiece itself, so this whole black section that you see here. The next part is the reed right here and it's kind of placed onto the flat surface of the mouthpiece. And then the last section is the ligature, which is this metal piece you see here and that's just used to tighten the reed onto the mouthpiece and when this reed vibrates that's kind of what creates a sound in a saxophone all right so firstly a common saxophone embouchure and saxophonists don't get at me like i'm not trying to say this is the only saxophone embouchure or anything like that i'm just speaking based off of my saxophone education and what i've been taught in the past by other saxophone teachers so the common saxophone embouchure meaning the way that your mouth is on the mouthpiece when you play um, involves the mouthpiece kind of sitting on your bottom lip while your bottom lip is slightly covering your bottom row of teeth so without the mouthpiece in your mouth it will kind of look like this and then the mouthpiece kind of lays softly on top of that bottom lip. And then your upper teeth uh, touch the top of the mouthpiece. And then your upper lip just kind of covers over. So this is what it will look like when it's closed, when your mouth is closed. Something like that. And this is what it would sound like. I'm trying to turn so you get different angles. That's kind of what it looks like. That's the common uh, saxophone embouchure. So the reason why my embouchure is different is because instead of resting the mouthpiece on my bottom lip, um, I actually rest it on my tongue. It's so weird. Super weird, super crazy, but I'm going to explain it right now. So instead of my bottom lip covering my bottom row of teeth, I actually cover my bottom row of teeth with my tongue and I rest the mouthpiece on my tongue like this. And then my tongue is covering my bottom row of teeth instead of the bottom lip. So instead of this, it's this. And then the mouthpiece sits on my tongue. The top of my teeth cover the mouthpiece the same way. And my, my upper lip covers it the same way. So it's like this. So what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That is my embouchure explained, guys. Okay, so to kind of get into this, um, it makes a huge difference to my sound. One, because it kind of adds like an airy texture to my sound. And I think that texture is kind of uh, what people notice when they hear the tone of my sax. They kind of hear like a, a airy sound to it. And then two, it kind of makes the sound a lot warmer. Um, I don't know how best to explain it. Let me get my whole, I'm going to get the whole sax. Okay, so with the regular saxophone embouchure, um, this is what it would sound like. And yes, I can play with both embouchures, but I prefer my embouchure. Um, so that's what that would sound like. And then when I use my embouchure, 
<laughs> There's a little difference there. It's um a little bit airy and a little bit warmer. So that's the that's the example <laughs> that I'm gonna give you guys. That's the best way I can honestly explain it. If you have questions, feel free to just comment them. I'm gonna try my best to go through all the comments on Instagram and YouTube to like answer your questions. Um, and then also, if you happen to play this way as well, please like let me know because I actually don't know anyone who plays the saxophone this way. So it'd be really cool to find out like if other saxophonists are out there who play this way. I would love to kind of hear about your experience like because it's, I don't know, it's really weird. So to end this video and to wrap up everything, I would like to say that going through the music education system, both at Gordon College, I went to Gordon before I went to Berkeley, and at Berkeley, um, playing this way has been an interesting experience. I've definitely had a lot of professors and saxophone teachers tell me that I play the saxophone wrong or I play the saxophone incorrectly. I've heard that phrase a lot and um, while I kind of understand like where they're coming from, especially when it comes to like a classical perspective of the saxophone or like a strictly jazz perspective of the saxophone. But personally, I haven't been restricted in a way, I haven't felt restricted in a way with playing the way that I play. Um, when I'm given like material in class or whatever, I've, I'm still able to make it work with my embouchure. Um, so with that being said, even though those comments were pretty discouraging, I would just like to say to any other saxophonist watching this and hearing this, um, and feeling like the way that they're play the way that they play is not like the way anyone else plays when it comes to tone or when it just comes to like you feeling like you can't play all the crazy fast lines in the world like other saxophonists can play i just want to say don't feel discouraged because your sound is completely unique to you um only you can create the sound that you create and what you sound like is what matters at the end of the day people can talk technique all day if they want to they can say like oh well you're not a saxophonist if you don't listen to this person or you're not a saxophonist if you don't play this way and at the end of the day like you get to create what your artistry looks like for you and you get to determine the way that you sound um based on how you choose to sound and it's like it's completely unique to you so just embrace your sound embrace your journey so far um and just feel confident in the way that you play and the way that you choose to make the saxophone work <laughs> and same thing goes for any other instrument i'm sorry i'm rambling but yes thank you so much for watching this video and like i said if you have any questions at all feel free to let me know i'm here for you <laughs> peace